hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys you can see the error on the screen no board device found so i am using here the dell laptop so in the dell laptop we need to first of all we need to shut down our system so shut down your system properly press the power key for almost 10 to 15 seconds so that it gets shut down completely now you can release the power key and again turn it on press the F12 key once you turn it on now continuously press F12 key like this now you will see the BIOS setup here so we need to go to the BIOS setup so use your scroll down key this option and choose here the BIOS setup and hit enter once you hit enter you will see the windows like this the BIOS setup you will see here first of all you need to go to the boot sequence here and once you go to the boot sequence you will see here two options legacy and the UEFI now if you have selected a legacy here make sure the your SDD is selected here and internal SDD is on the top if legacy is not working you can choose its to UEFI choose to UEFI and once you click on UEFI click on apply now UEFI is selected you need to click on exit option here and once you click on exit option we have made some changes from the boot we have selected the UEFI from the legacy and it should work in the first step if still not works now you can see my issue has been resolved now I have changed it to legacy to the UEFI if you have UEFI already change it to the legacy so my window is booted so if your issue is still not resolved let me go to the BIOS again and we will troubleshoot some settings here also and once it gets shut down or the restart mode we will hit the F12 key continuously this key now you can release it now again choose here the BIOS setup this option hit enter and once you hit enter you will see here the options like this go to the advanced boot options and then go to the time and zone make sure time and date is correct here if it is not select the correct time and date now in the boot device you will see here your hard drive name so make sure hard drive is showing here it means that there is no issue with your hard drive expand the system configuration tab here and then go to SATA operation and from here make sure AHCI is selected here as SATA is configured for HCI so make sure it is selected it should not be anything else make sure it is AHCI only once it is selected then click on apply and exit and try to boot your system from there and it should fix your issue now if your issue is still not solved so move to the third step in the third step we will load our settings to defaults so click on load default settings and once you click on load default settings uh, click on this option and then click on apply and exit your system will be configured to the default settings and it will automatically pick the better options for the boot so so this is a third method to fix issue so in the fourth method 
if anything wrong with your hard drive like the hardware issue you have so how to identify it that there is some hardware issue and the hard drive is not showing in your bios so we need to troubleshoot some settings from there so we need to exit it from here and press f12 on your keyboard again you can also press f2 for the dell bios simply now from here you will see the option diagnostic now in my case uefi and hard drive is showing here it means the hard drive is attached correctly you can see the uefi boot and the hard drive name is jebranex sd24 so you need to make sure it is showing here if it is not showing you can choose that option and if it is not showing go to the diagnostic and we will run the hard drive diagnostic now you will see here it is showing the display press yes so all tests are done here you need to go to here the site and click on this option and once you click on this option go to result option as you can see here hard drive is showing here green if green tick is showing here in the hard drive it means that there is no issue with your hardware so you can also fresh reinstall the windows and you can also go to the result option here and once you go to the result you can see here the hard drive so once you go to the hard drive test here you can see here the result it's pass dst short test is passed here so make sure all are passed here and if anything is fail like there is some issue with your hard drive so you have to change that it's a clear thing so this is how guys you can troubleshoot the issue boot drive is not found hope this video useful for you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech